Avast E viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a sort of walkthrough mission. It's exploring the Santa Nilas um, location. And it is a very rich location with um, lots of Mayan runes and you pick up a Mayan stone there and there's treasure chests and there are some um, sailors that you have to fight and it's good for deer hunting. Assassin's Creed is a very rich world in general or the video the video games are very rich. Black Flag is very, very, how shall I say, detailed and lush. And exploring the um, various locations and doing the uh, leap of faith at these locations is important because once you do that, you open up the location to fast travel, which makes things somewhat easy, and you're not fighting your way out against enemy ships, like I'm doing right now. You can just, once you're done with a mission, you can fast travel out, you can fast travel back in, unless you enjoy boarding and taking over ships for commerce, which I do a lot of. You get to an area and you unlock it doing the leap of faith and you open up the fast travel. Let's get on with the exploration of Santanillas. When you land on Santanillas, there are some uh, Portuguese soldiers, I believe, and I prefer to use the berserker darts and let them take each other out and watch the fun. Over on the left, far left, you can see a deer ambling along. And there's a lot of deer to hunt on Santanillas if need be. And like I said, when I sneak up on the guards, I prefer to just use a berserker dart and let them fight it out. Okay, this last guard is a brute, and they're usually hard to fight, so can we? I'm going to have him just take him out with a quick run-through assassination, and then I'm going to look around after looting, and as you can see, there is Mayan runes, and it's going to be a lot of running and jumping and acrobatics being done, but it's kind of fun. Now, I will probably take out the remaining uh, Portuguese guards before I move Kenway up to the Leap of Faith area. So, let's have him sneak around and figure out how I'm going to take out all these other guards. From this hiding spot, um, let's see, Berserker Dart, for some reason, Kenway can't shoot the guys. So let's move over here to a stalking zone and see if I can get a good shot and let these guys fight things out.
as I've said before in other videos involving Assassin's Creed Black Flag, or any Assassin's Creed for that matter, loot. Don't be afraid to loot the guys you take down because it's a great way to make a little extra coin and even replenish your supplies like bullets, darts, and smoke bombs. Now, let's see if I can take down some other guards before I move on to the Leap of Faith. In order to shorten the length of video, I may fast forward from time to time in getting to locations because the actual overall exploration of this place was uh, fairly extensive and took well over a half hour. And again, just to shorten the length of video, I will do some fast forwarding here and there. Oh, there's an Animus Fragment, so let's see if I can get that. Those are always involving some form of climbing and jumping around. I see how to get there, so I'm going to jump up to this tree and get to the Animus Fragment. Well, this guard appears to be stuck, so I'm going to take advantage and reload. Hmm. This is not working out. He's not coming at Kenway, so... And he's not dying, so let's see what's going on here. Apparently a glitch, and he was stuck in the stone. Oh, well. That made it easy for Kenway to take the guy down. So let's get on with getting to the high point and the leap of faith. I fast forwarded a little bit. You have to get to the top of the first temple and go through these leaping of trees in order to get to the high point and the leap of faith. I was talking to a friend of mine and he played Assassin's Creed as well, and he never really realized that, yeah, if you do the Leap of Faith and you find all the high points, the first one usually will unlock the fast travel to that point. And it's kind of important that you do that in all locations because, like I said, you then unlock the location. Now, here is the Leap of Faith. As you see, the location was synchronized, which means fast travel will now be unlocked. And as I explained in the beginning of the video, 
It's very important to unlock fast travel because you avoid uh, certain things, certain problems. Now, you also, once you synchronize an area using the high point, you show all locations of the treasures, etc. And again, more deer. They are all over this place in droves. And again, a little hunting helps out. You get stuff to craft or just to sell. And selling hunting goods is a good way to add and pad the overall bottom line for Kenway to upgrade the jackdaw. Now, there is a animus fragment and treasure chest around in this area. So after a little hunting here, I'm going to get that animus fragment and then look for the treasure chest. Opening treasure chests only give you a minor amount of money, but it does help. And also, when you find treasure maps, etc., I'm going to unlock the Mayan stone in this location and then move on. But this stuff helps out. Uh, it makes Kenway better. It makes the ability to upgrade the Jackdaw better. In the future, I'm going to do a video on treasure maps and how those are very important. If you want to just play Black Flag just straight through using the missions, yeah, that's fine. You can do that. But these worlds are fairly lush, and the best way to gain strength and abilities is going to locations, opening things up. So, again, I'm going to go get this Animus Fragment. I see how to do it. You just run up these pillars onto this tree, and then you can leap and take the Animus Fragment from this area in the tree. And again, I'll do a little fast forwarding to get to certain areas. Once you've unlocked a location through synchronization, you can uh, use the maps to help you out. And then you can uh, get a better, uh, how shall I say, idea of where things are located. And in this case, the next Mayan stone, there were two Mayan stones in this location. So I synchronized using the map and marking the location. And then I got to this Mayan stone. Just a little gross tidbit here. Uh, in many of the Assassin's Creed videos, if or video games, if you've noticed, when you do the Leap of Faith, um, there's always an indicator where you can do a Leap of Faith from, and it is bird poop. Yep. If you look at the areas where you can leap from, there's bird poop as an indicator that you can leap from that location. And yeah, it's just a little bit of a gross bit of information for you. This treasure map is for an elite fire barrel, which is an upgrade to the jackdaw. The fire barrels are then um, much more powerful. And I'm going to jump up and leap up here to get this location to take a look around. 
Uh, yeah. Close to finding everything. Now I gotta find the other animus fragment and treasure chests. Yeah, Kenway's not going to climb out, so it looks like he's going to have to kind of swim out or, yep, just walk through here and on to the next treasure chests. Okay, these last treasure chests turned out to be located in the top of the Mayan temple and not hidden in a cave somewhere. So this should get the last couple of treasure chests and wrap up the location. Oh, there's one more chest. Oh, let's see. Got to do one more thing, find one more th object on the map, and then this place should be complete. So I'm going to take this way out. And yeah, you can see that shadow there. That's awesome. The final thing on the map is I gotta look for yeah, it's a bottle over here. And it contains a letter. Again, if you gather all the letters, there is a bit of an advantage to Kenway bird poop, so let's take a leap and get to the letter. Here we are at the letter fragment, and this is the last thing that Kenway needs to find in the Sant Santanillas, and then this location will be fully explored. Actually, to be honest with you, it isn't fully explored. There is a treasure map that leads back to this um area and eventually i will get to that now a little bit of hunting and padding the bottom line but i'm done exploring the santa nillas i'm brad proprietor of barstool entertainment if you like this video hit the like button Leave some comments. I do respond to them. And if you like this type of video, I post four videos a week. And you don't want to miss out. So hit that subscribe button and then the bell icon. And you will be notified when I post videos. Well, this is another fun black flag video. Ahoy, mateys. And thanks for stopping by.